Hello everyone, Enrique here from The Machine Must Work. Today we're going to take a quick look at Clips Exporter. When you first open the extension, you are presented with a quick setup. You just have to select your mid encoder presets folder. This way, whatever presets you have listed there are also listed in the extension. If you choose to skip, the extension is going to list five presets for you just to get you started. We're going to go ahead and do the recommended way here. So I can go here into my documents. Adobe, Adobe Media Encoder, choose a version and presets. Once that's set, the first drop down we have here is to choose the encoding preset. In our case, let's go ahead and choose this ProRes for today. Next, you can choose between video and audio tracks. Let's stay with video, then let's select one option here. Let's go with all visible. If we go back to the project, we can see that, for example, video track three here is set as not visible and it will then be ignored by the extension. If we go back into the extension, next option we have is to solo the track. If we turn this on, as every clip is rendered, the extension then is gonna have only that track visible and all the others invisible, so there is no interference between the tracks. For the clip filters, we have plenty of rules here. To keep it simple today, let's choose the clips that are selected. And let's also choose to ignore adjustment layers. If we go back into the project, we can select, for example, these two clips here, this adjustment layer, and this other clip here that it's in video track 3, and you see that it will be ignored as well. If we go back up to the extension, we can easily customize the file name. If you double click here, you get a drop down with variables that you can use to build that file name. So we can, for example, do the clip name, then let's add an underscore. Then we can go for the sequence name and then we can add an underscore and open that drop down again. That drop down can easily be opened either by double clicking, by typing shift space, or by just clicking the down arrow in your keyboard. So let's go ahead now and choose the date variable, the full date variable here, and that's going to be our file name. In the output folder, we can then choose to either select a custom folder use the project folder or the clip folder. The project folder will be the folder where your project file is located. The clip folder is the folder where the clip file is located. So if you have clips in different folders, each exported file goes to a different folder. So we're gonna go ahead and go with project folder. Next, in the export options here, we can either turn on or off Adobe Mid Encoder. If it's on, the extension is gonna send all the clips to be rendered in Mid Encoder, and this keeps Premiere free for you. For today, we're gonna go ahead and just render it out in Premiere. The last option you have is to either render the active sequence, so it's gonna render the sequence you have open down here. If you then <laughs> auto save. Or the second option is selected bin, which means it's gonna render anything that it's in a selected bin in your project panel here. So if you have a bin with all your sequence, you're gonna render everything, select that bin, click it, that's it. Let's go back here. We're gonna go with active sequence for today. Once the render starts, you can see that this first clip is being rendered, so only this track is set as visible, all the others are not set to visible. Now we are rendering the second clip on video two, all the other tracks are set to invisible. You can see that the extension ignored this clip here because it's an adjustment layer. And also ignore this clip here because it's on video track 3, which is a track that is not set as visible. If we go into the folder here, we can see those clips were rendered with the names we chose. So the clip name, the sequence name, and the full date. Back to Premiere. That was a quick look at Clips Exporter. If you want to know more, go check our in-depth tutorial. Plenty of options here. I'm sure you're going to enjoy it. If you haven't got the extension yet, Go to ascripts.com and get it there. Thanks for watching.